Hey guys, Mathel here once again with yet another last minute scuffed late night, early morning cosplay. I was attempting to be Anubis, god of underworld funeral procession, whatever the fuck, I don't know, uh, for Necropolis League and then also tried to face paint myself and it ended up kind of looking a bit like Post Malone. Anyway, I digress. Uh, the character I ended up picking, I didn't actually put out any starters, unfortunately. I'm sorry about that, it's been a bit, I don't know blah the past week since um you know coming back from the uh trip to america just been a bit yeah run down i don't know so i didn't end up putting out any starters got a cosplay going and i decided to uh just go ahead and try out some of the new wanding shit so the wanding shit that is new is specifically the new ellie hit the new wisp support and i think there's also a new kinetic blast the easiest way to try out the new Ellie hit and the Kinetic Blast, I figured, was to go with a setup I'd kind of played previously before, which is a Raider Frenzy-based uh, Wanda, and just let the character kind of build itself and see what wanding skills work. So I decided to um, go with regular Ellie hit to begin with, into the new Ellie hit, which is the one you see now, and also using the new Wisp support. The new Wisp support you get at level 18 um, from the Weaver quest, the new Ellie hit, whenever you can do lab. Seems to be pretty cheap to buy if you want to buy one of those. Um, but I only got one at around, I don't know, level 50, something like that. And up till that point, I was regular Ellie hit. I wouldn't really recommend starting Ellie hit as a wonder solo self found, you know, first character. But all that said, it actually didn't feel too bad. I did pick Raider because I wanted to be frenzy based and then maybe play frenzy instead of Ellie hit if it's no good. Um, but yeah, ideally, you're probably going to be a dead eye for this sort of situation. And I have done dead eye Ellie hits in the past if you need more of a template for that. In any case, to talk about the new stuff, um, the new Ellie hit basically hits with all three elements at once instead of alternating. And it also makes sure it has a AoE portion to it before you put any ailments on anything, so it's always going to have an AoE on the enemy. The benefit of this Ellie hit compared to the previous one is you don't have to cycle through elements or pick one strict element. Instead, you can stack all elements at once and still get maximum benefit. So previously with the other Ellie hit, you'd either only stack one element or like just stack gem levels, something like that, and go with the three elements. With this one, you can build it in more of a conventional Wanda style where you can get uh, additional elemental damage. So we're probably gonna run Wrath. We're probably gonna have, you know, uniques that give us lots of cold fire lightning stuff like that and then all of those things should benefit us nicely we'll have trinity up we might even do ice bite and frenzy stacking and commit to the full-blown ellie hit so it's actually kind of an interesting one and it looks pretty cool um it is a bit messy though because it hits with all three elements at once uh and does all three elemental explosion things by the looks of it and then if you do the MTX that is associated with this thing, it actually lags the fuck out of your computer. I don't know if they tested this shit or what, but yeah, it's pretty terrible. Um, so then the other thing that's new is the Wisp support. You get it at level 18, it gives you a couple of extra Wisps, and they start attacking when you attack um, at a lower rate, because there's a chance to proc, chance not proc, etc. Uh, and it actually starts to feel pretty good right from level 18. You do noticeably... Um, get a gain in your clear, noticeably get a gain in your single target, and uh, it starts to feel a little bit more fun, kind of like a, you know, proc-based character, you know, cast on crits, uh, spell sling, or something like that. It does start to feel quite a bit more fun and more fluid for a wanding character. Uh, I can see wanders being a bit bigger in this league than previous leagues, now that they have their own version of, let's say, an Ancestral Call or a Mirage Archer. Um, and yeah, this is just a starting character that's gone well so far. I'm only up to like almost level 70. Uh, obviously, that is not very far, but it has taken me through the campaign pretty smoothly and it's been pretty fun up till now. So, so far, so good. Don't have too much to report to you. I can just show you what I've done and the template I'm following and then we'll see where we go from there. So I'll show you a quick rundown of my character and... Um the passive tree and what I'm basically following along to get to the point I'm at. 
Um, and yeah, I wore this mask most of the day. I'll finish off with just a little bit more for the YouTube for you guys as well. Um, so we are currently level 70 golden nips. My nips were golden. Um, and also if you want um, like-minded mouth of frogs, um, global chat is 50300. You can uh, tune in with those guys and um, yeah, talk some shit with them. Uh, so I am currently a raider like i said i am building around essentially frenzy just in case i want to do ice bite dead eye usually has a much better package for the um ranged situation but i had played something like this in the past so if you go to my build list and then click harvest the sentinel in the sentinel category you'll find the frenzy wanding raider this thing was an uber beta and actually was a pretty damn solid character um and it was based around Frenzy and Ice Bite with this hat. By the end of the character, I concluded that you don't really need an Ice Bite hat like this for it to work. And just a proper good six link would be just as good. And it was actually a pretty damn good character. So I know that um, if I really need to, Frenzy will save the day being a raider and all that. And uh, checking the video on this one will give you... A good idea of exactly how I built it and all that. Um, so I'm kind of following along similar with this template, but uh, still trying to incorporate more Ellie hit action. Uh, so it's not the best passive tree at the moment, I don't think, because um, we go this way, we go there, uh, down here, and then I go up and then start grabbing frenzy shit. Uh, and it's a very spread out passive tree at the moment. It goes all the way up there for wanding, goes all the way down there for frenzy. Um, if I keep going this sort of Frenzy Raider route, maybe that's how it's going to continue going, and I'll probably grab these things here. Um, so far, so good. I don't know exactly where it's going to take me. Dead Eye would probably make more sense for pure Ellie hit. Um, so all we're really looking for is like some attack speed on our wand. Um, I mean, my gear is absolute garbage, and uh, it's taken me through this far so far cleanly enough. Uh, just some life, you know, accuracy, flat damage, whatever the fuck. And my links at the moment are Ellie Hit of Spectrum, Trinity, Return Proj, and Sacred Wisps. Return Proj, I don't think it's particularly good, given that I'm using Point Blank, but it does help my clear and does feel alright. At the same time, we do have Barrage we can put instead, and Barrage with the Wisps seems to go pretty well. So, um, keep that in mind. You might want to be running Barrage instead. You want to get some Pierce to start really taking off with this sort of situation if you're running Ellie hit. Um, but supposedly maybe the Wisps go real well with Barrage because um, they trigger off of like your attack or something. I don't know. It doesn't seem to be anything crazy. Uh, just normal extra Barrage action. But as you can tell, um, it can work pretty well and I think it might be good for single target to still be running Barrage. Um, but we might just try and shy away from that. So that's what it looks like. That's the situation so far. Going to be building into just a bunch of flat Ellie. Um, grab the Piscators for like 1C and uh, I'll go with that and see where it takes me. Hopefully we get like a 5 link, a 6 link, maybe some good stuff like a replica Hyries, a replica Covenant. Um, fuck knows. We're just going to stack. We're going to build and see where it goes. But it should be pretty good. Should be a character that can take me through the Atlas and um, maybe even beyond. And uh, yeah, so far it's based around the new Ellie hit, but the old Ellie hit works too. That's what I was leveling with until at this point. Um, and uh, yeah, that's where we're at. So that's all I got for you for now. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed just this little starter video. Hope your lead start is going really well. And I will hopefully give you another video when my character is much more beefed up and um, ready to show off. Thank you very much for watching. And wait, fuck shit. Uh, I was also going to say... Uh, real quick, I'm also doing like some sub goal things. Um, so yeah, just if you don't want to contribute, by all means, don't contribute. But there will be some extra memes on the channel. Uh, I'm going to dress up as Slave Leah in a few days when I get my costume in. And I'm probably going to have to do Quinn's EQ build, which, uh, yeah, it's going to be kind of painful. All right. Thank you very much for watching. See you guys next time.